What is up, YouTube? Black Bigot, your host with the most. I am here in Rockford, Illinois. I just got a camp ground stay thing. It was 12 bucks for the night. I don't really care for it. It's too many fucking gnats around. Um, didn't really sleep all that great. But it was only $12. That ain't too bad. I'm not going to stay here another night. I'm cool. I don't want to pay $25 to sleep somewhere where I could just sleep on the street for free. Let's go take a walk down to the water really quick. Show you where I'm at. So this is Rock Cut State Park. Again, $12 to stay. Not too bad. I'm not really impressed. I didn't really get a good cell phone signal. You got somebody over there chilling. It rained last night, and I, as soon as it started raining, I woke up and I said, Ah, oh, shit. I'm going to get soaked. I'm going to get pounded in a bad way. That sounded kind of weird. Anyways. Only rained for 10 seconds and it stopped, thank God. The forecast today is like, maybe it, it'll rain, maybe it won't. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know what lake this is. Oh, Pierce Lake. Thank you, sign. That's kind of cool. So this is Pierce Lake. You can fish here, I guess, if you want to. These nets won't leave me the hell alone. And yeah, not too bad. If you like camping, this place was okay. I'm just not into it. Just not into it. I'm not into the wilderness crap. I'm a city boy. I'm a city kid. That's what I do. That's what I know. It's what I like. It's all I know. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna pack up and head out. Okay. I'm all packed up, ready to go. My scooter's warming up right now. It takes about usually about a minute for my scooter to warm up. It's not fuel injected, so that sucks. But oh well. Uh, this tent, man, I'm already going to need a new bag. This thing is already destroyed. The tent was only like 25 bucks, I think, on eBay. I would much rather pay $75 and have a decent tent bag. You know, this thing is already ripped. I mean, look at this crap. I mean, it's just cheap Chinese crap. I don't even know why everyone's all like, oh my God, Chinese tariffs, Chinese tariffs. Like, do we really need Chinese crap? Like, do we need that much Chinese bullshit? Am I the only one that just... Okay, how about this? How about that tent's made in America and I pay $100? Okay, I'm cool with that. I don't want to pay $25 for Chinese crap. It's going to fall apart. You know what I mean? And, who, and what is a soybean? We got some great news. I just got a flat tire. Uh, I was doing about 10 miles an hour and I heard a and then my scooter started feeling weird. Luckily, I wasn't on the highway when I got it. I already knew I needed a back tire. I was calling different places in Rockford. Unfortunately, everyone acts like uh, this is kind of a specialty thing where they really can't change the tire and it's starting to rain so let me get uh, let me get a tow truck on the phone so now i'm walking about uh, three miles down the road right here so i can meet the tow truck driver on the street because apparently they don't know where i'm at they never heard of this park because they're a fucking idiots so uh this is totally my fault i wasn't supposed to leave wisconsin without a new tire but uh, you know, I just, I didn't want to be there anymore. I was kind of sad and shit. Uh, so I left and uh, this is what happened. Uh, so, you know, I already knew I needed a tire 500 miles ago. And uh, totally my fault, uh, but uh, we'll figure it out and we'll get a tire on eventually. <laughs> I don't, I know they don't have the tires in stock, so they're going to have to order the tires. I don't know how long I'm going to be here in Rockford. <laughs> Oh uh, well, hopefully I can get to Chicago by the weekend. I know I have a job waiting for me over there if I can get just get down there. 
God, I love these gnats. They're, dude, they're great, these gnats. So I guess what I found? A pack of Newports. That is awesome. I think I'll keep them on me just uh, to keep bums away from me. When they start asking me for shit, I'll just throw the cigarettes at them and run. So I'm walking already now almost a mile. And this guy pulls up in a nice car. And I'm like thinking he's going to offer me a ride. He sees that I'm walking towards the exit. He pulls out that Wallflower magazine, you know, the Jehovah's Witness uh, garbage. And he said, hey, would you like some reading material? And I told him I'm Jewish, which is kind of true. I'm not a practicing Jew, but I'm Jewish. And he still is trying to give it to me. So basically, when somebody tells you, if you're like a Christian or, or you're a Muslim or whatever, whatever religion you are, when somebody tells you that they're another religion, that means that they don't want to hear your bullshit. That's what that means. It doesn't mean, oh, come on, no. All, all you're telling me is, no, your religion is wrong. My religion is right. I mean, who the hell knows what's right or what's wrong at the end of the day? You know what I mean? No, but your, your religion is wrong. No, here, take this. Get the f How about you offer me a ride? I'm tired. Look at my eyes. I haven't slept well in... I, you know what? Actually, I, I, like that cause I think I've slept good one time since I left Texas. Oh my god. You know what would really, really, really suck? If somebody snuck up behind me and pushed me. And she's off. Okay, so the tow truck driver left. I uh, dropped my scooter off right here. It is raining, of course. And uh, my scooter's right there. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be here for a while. Uh, it's fucking raining, of course. And uh, I just went to the flea bag motel next door and they don't have any vacancies. My tent is completely wet. My sleeping bag completely wet. The bad kind of completely wet. Okay, so, well, good news is there's a McDonald's uh, about two miles down, so I guess I'm gonna take my happy ass on down and uh, get going. I'll catch up with you later, guys. Peace out.